Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am Clementine, and as always, I am Super Sam. But never mind that. And in this video, I'll show you how to take an Altoids tin and a Disney branded toy microphone from a singing game to make a USB audio interface that can be used for guitar or other instruments for about $5. Then we'll take it to the studio and do a test and see how that works. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned. This is a Disney branded USB microphone. These microphones can be branded many different ways and usually come with singing games. You'll commonly find these at thrift and resale stores for under $5. What you want to look for is this little lump on the cord. Believe it or not, inside this is a genuine Logitech analog to digital converter chipset with USB output and stored drivers. When this is plugged into a computer, it will automatically load as a Logitech audio device. So let's turn it into an audio interface. The first thing you want to do is grab this microphone, clip it off. We don't need that. Chuck it. Now you want to strip the outside cover from the wire about one inch from the end. Gather up the shielding wires and twist those together. Then strip the inner conductor about a half an inch from the end and do the same. Now you will need an Altoids tin or another similar sized metal box. The reason you want to use a metal enclosure is that it will become grounded and act as a Faraday cage, blocking hum and interference that might enter the signal. For a professional look, you could use a small guitar pedal project box. At this point, you will need a drill and a quarter inch instrument jack. Determine the jack placement and drill a corresponding size hole in your enclosure. I found that when using an Altoids tin, you will need to sand the corner off of the jack for proper fitment. Now you will need a drill bit slightly larger than a USB cable. Drill a hole so that the wire can enter the enclosure. Now pull the wire through the hole and tie a loose knot. Now you will solder the shield wire to the ring terminal of the jack and the signal wire in the center will be soldered to the positive tip terminal of the jack. This Logitech chipset has a lot of gain, so if you are planning to use this interface with high output or active pickups at the end of a pedal chain or with line level instruments such as synthesizers or keyboards, you will want to install a 500k volume pot as seen in this diagram. Now you will simply tighten the knot and install the jack Close the lid and you'll have an audio interface. I fully understand if you have reservations on how it may perform and sound, but if you have ever heard a voiceover on my channel, including at this moment, it is all recorded with a combination of this 1960s Akai microphone and this dusty old candle tin going into Audacity. So now let's take it into the studio with an instrument and a proper DAW and do a sound test. Well guys, that just about does it for this video. If you found this educational or entertaining in any way, make sweet love to that like button. And maybe subscribe. I'm Clementine, you've been watching Heavy Metal ATC. Till next time!